The United Democratic Party is celebrating its 48th anniversary at a time when deep division has taken hold of its ranks. Not only is the UDP in opposition following massive losses during the general and municipal elections, but the transition in leadership has also proven to be somewhat rocky. Nonetheless, with unity as its primary objective since the return of Patrick Faber as head of the party and leader of the opposition, the UDP is forging ahead. The UDP was founded on the 27th September 1973. As, as you all know, the UDP has a long, storied and proud history that was born out of the unification of three political parties. In the beginning, it wasn't all that rosy, but the UDP has always been a strong, resilient and determined party. We have known defeat, but we also know victory. We have the distinction of being the most successful political party post-independence. It is only fitting then that I also take this opportunity to, to pay tribute to some of our past champions, such as the Honorable Philip Golson, Honorable Dean Lindo, Sir Manuel Esquivel, and of course, the right Honorable Dean Oliver Barrow. Albert Era Representative Tracy Taker Panton, one of only five opposition parliamentarians, speaks of the move within the party to return to its fundaments, including freedom, justice, and patriotism. Today, we celebrate the movement for greater representation, greater inclusion, greater democracy, on the shoulders of all those who have worked in the trenches for us, and all those who out th throughout our young history has taken up the mantle to lead the 31 constituencies that form our political system. Today, we celebrate all those who have kept the faith in the United Democratic Party in the good times. And in times like these, when we are now in the process of writing our ship. Today, we celebrate the core principles and ideals we believe in. Freedom, justice, democracy, patriotism, and respect for our Belizean identity and its rich history. Cutting the anniversary cake and sharing slices with his colleagues in the party is a small token of appreciation on the part of Faber, whose leadership has been challenged very early into his tenure. That notwithstanding, Faber takes time to acknowledge that the party's storied history does in fact include moments of being the political underdog. It is not new to the UDP, it is not uncommon to the UDP for us to be in tough times. And I think the viewing of the history, the recounting of the history, the filling in of the blanks even in between what is shown to you on the video, is really what this party needs now to understand that while we are done, we are certainly not out. And in fact, the glory days of the UDP, even more glorious days than those that we've enjoyed in the five victories that we have had since our independence, are still ahead of us. But what is needed is for us to understand that history. And while it is that we highlight the history at this time of our birthday, it is my pledge as the new leader of this party that we will do more in order to help our faithful supporters and, in fact, the young people. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.